y'all. We're out here at the house today, and today we're going to be working on putting up board and batten siding. My dad and his friend Dale have been working really hard on this siding. They have got all the fascia boards up, all the soffit up, everything is boxed in, all the soffit vents are in, and now it's time to start on the siding. This is definitely their project, but I'm going to be helping out a little bit today. The siding project has been a little bit more time consuming than <laughs> I thought. <laughs> they had to plane all the boards, rip them to a certain size, and then I painted and stained or primed the boards before we put them up. So this has taken a little while to get this project started. <laughs> and they have already got some of the siding up. So what we have is down at the bottom, we have a two by three, and then here is a one by 10, and then a one by three on top. We have the little one by strips back behind, and those are nailed to the studs inside. And those are at least every two feet all the way up. And then we're using one by tens for the board and one by twos for the battens. And over here at the windows, we used a 2x4, a 1x3, and then at the top, the top header going across is a 2x6. And as far as the flashing goes, there's probably better ways to do this, but we just, we just have a piece of this vinyl flashing down at the bottom, pretty much just to cover up the, the joint between the basement wall and the subfloor. And then we are not using, I know a lot of people, I think, put a piece of flashing here that comes out with the drip edge, but we are not doing that. <laughs> uh, if you'll grab that in, I hope it'll reach the block. It might not. Well, the block's not perfectly right, level. Fine. I'm tight right. on the other side. Yeah, go ahead. That's right. Yeah. Get all mixed up. Yeah, that's good. Oh, you got it up against it. Yep. Okay. That's that's an inch off from what. You know, I measured. We were that much high. And now we're that, how are we that much lower? Is this well, you took three sixteenths off. But it was three sixteenths high. Oh, well, well, we, well we can pull this other board up on that end and make a match. Let's put it in. We'll caulk we'll underneath that top board. I swear down there past so much goofy look, but we got the other ones the same as this one up, but <laughs> we'll have too much trouble. Let's see, we'll go about right here, I think, and we're about right here. I'm gonna press that one up while you put your in. Well, Bobby says, <laughs> not building a piano. <laughs> That's true. If you're long in against the wall. Yeah. All right, I'm gonna come this way a little bit. Thank you. 
All right, we got our BAM board on, and then we put these strips, these little one by strips, at least every two feet. And then up here at the very top, we have a two by four. And now we're just making sure it was level. We mark a center point on the board at the top and the bottom. And then we put this, you see I have a center point and I'm gonna put this on the center. And he's gonna put it on the center. Center, yeah. And then here, I'm gonna hand you the level. And then we check to make sure that's level. I need to come out with mine, unless you can go in. Can you go in a little bit? Yeah. Bump it. How's that? Bump it again. More. Bump it with your hand. Hold on, I'm not Okay, I'm on it again. Go ahead. As far as you can go? Yeah. I think. Hold on, let me try again. Okay, I went a little bit further. That's good right there. That's good. Okay. Uh, let me hold this down and you go ahead and put some screws in it. All right. So that's how we make sure it's straight up and down because these boards are a little rough on the edges so we can't put the level on the edge. Alright, so this is what we're doing. We're putting the screw on each side at each board. And that way when we put the battens on, they'll cover those screws. And I'm using these deck. They're made for like treks, but they have the real little head on them. So that's what we're using. What's my next measurement? So I just marked the center of each opening. And I'll just kind of line the center up with it. And I'm gonna use a drill, a drill bit. Drill a hole just so I don't split it. Not gonna tighten it down all the way yet.
So I'm going to mark the center of this as well. And I'm going to center it up and then just double check with the level. Make sure it looks good. Using three and a half inch exterior screws for this. So this is what we got done today. We got about a 10 foot section done. It took us about seven hours, so it's a little time consuming. But it turned out really nice. But that's it for today. So thanks for watching.